We're here at City Hall supporting art, a catalyst for change with my man, Video Music Box, Ralph McDaniels. We're here to stop gun violence, using the art creatively to get the job done. We got two events coming up in January, maybe around Martin Luther King to set it off. We got to do two a month through June, using art again as a catalyst for change. Thanks to Uncle Ralph, Video Music Box, Power 1051 for helping us put this down. We're trying to make sure young people understand the power of hip hop and how we're gonna make a change in using art creatively to make a difference in our community. So, you know, I'm gonna turn it over to the executive director of the Hip Hop Summit Youth Council. Yes, how you doing, Uncle Ralph? So the Hip Hop Summit Youth Council been around for about 15 years, been working with Ralph for many years. I'm Randy Fisher, I'm the executive director. That's Charles, he's the founder. It's my brother Sharif, he's a director of special projects. And it's my man, Steve Graham, a member of our um, advisory board, good friend of the family. And we're just out here today, you know, getting ready for the new year. Happy new year to everybody. Um, supporting Video Music Box who helped us secure some funds to do some events in five boroughs finally. So City Council and City Hall has finally listened to us when we tell them that you need hip hop to stop this gun and gang violence problem. And it's a beautiful thing, but we're going to keep on pushing because that's how hip hop do it. Like my man Mr. Magic used to say, rest in peace, persistence over resistance. Yeah, so anyway, I want my young, my young son here to say a little word. I'm not going to put you on the spot, but we need our young people engaged in the community, so say a quick word. Uh, yeah, again, I'm Sharif. You know, this, 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 uh, this project is all, all family. We're all just working hard together to make a change in the community and use art as a catalyst to end gun and gang violence. So we're going to be on our, on our toes, working as hard as we can, and we hope to make a change ASAP. All right, my man Steve, I'm going to let you holler. Uh, how are you, Uncle Ralph? I came up on you. My sons came up on you, and um, it's very important at this time, you know, the youth is our future. And I, I feel like these are critical times. We're actually in, in the process of losing the whole generation. We have to infuse a new culture, and hip-hop is the number one source of music that the young people relate to. If hip-hop moves in a positive direction, it'll change the thoughts. It will change the thoughts and then change the actions of a lot of, a lot of our youth who are embracing negativity and not even understanding the dynamic realities that come as a result of that. It's time to stop the new Jim Crow, the mass incarceration of, of, of young black and Hispanic individuals who are being railroaded into jail. Uh, we're losing some of our most creative genius in the community basically through the mindset through the ideals that young people are embracing. Hip hop can play a tremendous role in changing that. And I hope to be on board and do whatever I can to help that come to pass. Hotel. My man Steve, so like I said,